Hi, I'm Charles Kelly, and today we're going to be smoking the 1502XO by Global Premium Cigars, next on The Lancer Life. And if I get rock for my kids, is that real? Till the sun come up Crack a 40 when the sun go down It's a cold winter Y'all better bundle up And I better be a hotter summer Grab onion just to rock it down You hot now, listen up The 1502XO is one of six lines of cigars That Global Premium Cigar Company has put out All the cigars are made uh, At the Placencia Cigars Factory in Nicaragua um, This is a Nicaraguan Puro, we think, because nobody knows what the blend is. Uh, Enrique Sanchez, who is the founder of Global Premium Cigars, hasn't disclosed exactly what uh, type of tobacco uh, and how much he's, he's put in these things. Um, so no one knows. Uh, it's got a semi-closed foot. I'm going to show you it here so you can see that. Uh, and again, it's a limited production run. There were only 1,502 boxes uh, of 10 cigars each, which, you know, carry the one, means there are only 15,020 cigars. Uh, the brand is 1502 to commemorate the year that Christopher Columbus discovered. Nicaragua. Uh, can't wait to get in this thing. Why don't we do a cut and light? Mm. Seventeen dollar cigar. So you have a right to expect a whole lot from this. Let's take another look at it. Very nice wrapper. Um, not sure what's age 18 years, but some of the tobacco on this thing is age 18 years. Could be the wrapper, could be something in the filler. Uh, again, we don't know what it is. Nico Prioro 6x50 Toro is the size of the cigar. Uh, this cigar was debuted in 2016 at one of my favorite shops in Philadelphia, Wooden Indian Tobacco. Uh, it's got uh, the flavor profile, what we're supposed to hear of hay and raspberry on a cold draw, uh, pepper, barnyard sweetness, sweet, tangy, chocolatey, and coffee uh, on the draw. Let's see what we get. Whew, the cigar has got some uh, some game. Uh, hmm. Let's let this heat up a little bit. Hmm. Pepper, leather. Uh, I'm not getting any of the grassy hay notes. You get a real hint of some kind of you get a real there is a real hint of some type of berry just a little tinge on there which gives you that tart but not so tart sweet but not so sweet uh fruity flavor Little cayenne pepper, little little that kind of heat, uh, and maybe that's what they say. They say pepper and barnyard sweetness. I'm getting cayenne pepper, little cocoa, not getting the coffee yet. But again, this is this is the initial light up. <clears throat> the other thing I'll tell you, when you go to Global Premium Cigars, they have a very interesting strength profile chart that they put on their thing, 
And basically what it does is it shows you the strength rating of the cigar from first third, second third. And what that chart tells you is it's really going to kick up uh, in the uh, final third after uh, all the tobaccos uh, get together and heat up. Mm. Whew. You can tell this thing has got some got some punch to it. Uh, yeah, uh, so Wooden Indian Tobacco Shop is a uh, tobacco store that I go to in Havertown. I've done a review on it on my blog, www.thelancerlife.com. You'll also see a video somewhere uh, on my YouTube channel from one of their annual cigar events. The quality of it isn't that good, but it gives you a sense of you know, a lot of people that come out, the, the, the good food, all the good giveaways. It's a great annual event uh, that they do every January. Wooden Indian, to me, has one of the best cigar selections of any cigar shop I've been to in the country. Now, Holtz, they're distributor cigars. So they're going to have a lot, and they're going to have a lot of, of, of quantity as well. But Wooden Indian has a great, great, great variety. Now that 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 now that's where the cigar debuted, but that's not where I got it from. I I I got this cigar from Smoke, which is a cigar shop in Manioc. So I've mentioned Smoke and Manioc. I've mentioned Holtz, but uh, Wooden Indian is going to be who I talk to you about today because I have run into more of the people in the cigar industry at Wooden Indian than any place I've ever been to. Uh, Tony Bellotto from La Barba has been there. Eric Espinosa of Espinosa Cigars. Uh, I wasn't there when Enrique Sanchez was there to unveil this, but Wooden Indian has... Uh, uh, Dave uh, has uh, garnered a ton of respect in the cigar world. And a lot of those guys, when they come through Philadelphia, they go up to Havertown and visit it, uh, visit uh, Dave and, and the guys at Wooden Indian. Good premium plant brands, but you can also get some super rare stuff. So this, uh, I believe, is something they carry. Um, but the La Barba one and only, which is another limited production cigar uh, they carry, they they get some very rare and wonderful cigars at that shop, and that's one of the reasons why I enjoy them so much because of their knowledge, the respect they have in the industry, um, their selection of the cigars, their prices, they are just fantastic people at Wooden Indian Tobacco Shop. So even though I haven't done a sit-down review and video with Dan and Dave and the guys up there at Wooden Indian, I want to take the opportunity in this video to say how much they meant to me in helping me uh, uh, in my education in cigars, supporting my writing efforts, uh, and introducing me to some really, really fantastic sticks. Big Boy Cigar. Um, oh, I wanted to show you. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to the video I recorded again. The 2074 number that you see there represents which number cigar this is out of the 15,020. Uh, so this is an early, early production run uh, we got here. These cigars are going on sale now for 20 bucks. Now, you get a cigar that expensive, as I said earlier, you have a right to expect balance. I'm getting balance. You expect it to have a good burn. I'm getting a good burn. You expect this to have a nice tight ash. Now, in the camera view, it might look flaky, but that's not a flaky ash. That's holding together really tight. Uh, you have a right to expect uh, some real good complex flavor, and I'm getting good complex flavor. So balance, good burn, good ash, and complexity, you know, th this thing is four for four. Uh, and 
and it tastes like a Nicaraguan cigar. You're going to get, you know, medium to full body in a Nicaraguan cigar, and this is in the medium to full range. You're going to get that, uh, you know, pepper that you, you, you're going to, you, that, that you can expect. And you're going to get those dark, earthy flavors. I haven't done a flavor profiles on uh, beans, cocoa, espresso, and coffee. But this right at home uh, in that range, that cluster. Uh, sweet and tangy. Less tangy. The sweetness comes like now. Like after I've exhaled the smoke, there is something that coats the tongue almost creamy again uh, uh, this might be another cigar that doesn't advertise itself as having creaminess but definitely has a creaminess on the tongue very very close but not as close as that Tatuaje Cajoni which is one of the most badass cigars uh, I, I think I've smoked Still in that first third range, so we're not getting, uh, you know, some of the uh, flavor characteristics uh, like the again the um, coffee yet, uh, or that barnyard sweetness. But there is some sweetness, uh, almost like a creamy chocolate, like a chocolate souffle cream coating on the tongue. Once that smoke is is long gone. Most of the pepper is coming on the retrohale. Uh, you get a little bit in your mouth. Uh, mm. Wow. I don't know, Something, something's happening here. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but something's definitely beginning to to change. I can't I can't put my finger on it. It's good, I like it, but something something's starting to change. Uh as I said before, only one Vitola, six by fifty. Uh this is the cream of the fifteen oh two brand. Like I said, there there's six Ruby and a bunch of other emerald, uh, all the different uh, cigars are kind of named after fine jewels and things like that. Uh, this this is their this is their shining star. This is this is the diadem of their uh, of the brands, and um, it's it's this is really good, really good. I believe I've had another of the 1502 line. I just didn't write or blog about it. I have a, a cigar app where I'm sure I put some notes down about what my experience with that was. Um, I don't think it, it was like this or I'd, I'd have gone out the store and, and bought some more of these. Well constructed box press here. You know, it's just, it's just nice not falling apart uh, good construct I don't know I don't want to put it in there too much and make it blurry well wrapped look at that look at that cap how far down it goes um, did a nice punch didn't get it you know dead center but but uh, I'm getting a good draw good flavor of tobaccos everything is holding on there really nicely good job Good job. I don't know. I think this, this ash is going to get a tuxedo rating out of me because it's very tight. I mean, it looks, you know, under this microscope, this camera is so good. Uh, it might look flaky, but shit, every, anything might look flaky on this camera. But uh, that's holding on really good. That is a good-looking ash. Uh, 
So this is something you can wear with a good suit. You know, you go out, you wear a good suit, and you know. Uh, I've, I've had custom suit that uh, I smoked the wrong thing and burned a hole in, 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 in two, two big, very expensive jackets. Uh, so I've learned to identify what cigar is good for, you know, having a smoke in and which ones are not. And this is one that you could definitely roll with something uh, uh, nice nice on there with so is this a $17 cigar you bet it is uh, can you find something that tastes almost as good for less yeah you could probably find something around $15 or $13 uh, but to get this kind of complexity, this good blend of flavors, this good mouthfeel, you're gonna pay some coin for it. So don't, 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 don't fool yourself. Uh, so this is a good cigar. If you see it, go out and get it. And enjoy some rich flavors. About the medium body scale. Uh, uh, this isn't, this isn't blowing up my nostrils. This isn't exploding in my mouth, but it's got a, a nice variety of flavors going on in my mouth, uh, and it's very well balanced. A darker, like got to use the base word, darker, earthier, kind of flavor profile, you know, with the coffee, cocoa. Um, some sweetness that that you just I, I just can't put my finger on that might be that hay because it's got some kind of something going on in there and again earlier on the berry the berries kind of wave bye bye to some of the more potent flavors but again this cigar is interesting because there is something else that goes on in your mouth long after the smoke leaves so you do your draw you do your retrohale so draw gives me a flavor retrohale gives me a flavor and as soon as i breathe and let oxygen hit it's berry it's, de it's definitely some kind of berry that when the oxygen hits your tongue for two or three breaths after it's gone there is some kind of fruit something going on so that uh, they kind of nailed it. Listen, cigar tastes like whatever you taste like. One of the values of reading the notes from the cigar manufacturers is to kind of help you get your brain to wrap around what you're tasting. Because there's some cigars you taste, you're just not quite sure. Some are so easily identifiable. You can identify wood. You can identify cocoa. You can identify... Uh, coffee. You can identify espresso. You can identify leather. You can identify pepper. Uh, you can identify, um, you know, a, a little fruit zest. There's a lot of flavors that you can easily identify. The challenge is when you get something that doesn't fit kind of that quadrant of a flavor wheel. If you get leather, wood, cocoa, and then you get blueberry up here. That's like away on the flavor wheel. Having something that tells you what you should expect helps you to say, oh, th so that's what it is. Now, not all of the cigars that I've smoked are spot on. There are sometimes I don't get some of the things that they say you're going to get. I don't get barnyard sweetness, but I definitely get some kind of raspberry. I mean, it's unmistakable but it's not when you think you get it it's not on the draw it's not on a retro hail it's on that coating on your tongue after the smoke leaves and and when you add some oxygen to it so i mean literally sitting here having this discussion smoking a cigar i've learned that third kind of taste because i've it's, it's interesting I, I just something i didn't know didn't notice It's there. Definitely some damn berry. How about that? Wow. So, 
1502 XO with aged tobacco 15, uh, 18 years, limited quantity. 15,020 of these cigars were made. I can tell you there are only 15,019 left because I got mine. You go get yours. This is Charles Kelly. Thanks for joining The Lancer Life. Visit me at www.thelancerlife.com. Peace. And a bucket of grease. Oh, I gotta do this.